Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of the Aussie Flipper. My name's Matt Diedrich and I am an online reseller. What that means is I'll buy a product for the sole purpose of flipping online for a profit. Now in today's episode, I've got seven sold items that I wanted to get through to you. The whole idea of this show, if you've never seen it before, is to take you through a list of the items that I've sold, show you what profit I've made, to hopefully give you a bit of an idea out there as to what you can look for to help with your own reselling. Um, so feel free to give this video a like and subscribe if you get any kick out of it. It really does help the YouTube channel a lot. I'll also be diving into my August numbers for the month as well. So once we've gone through the seven items, I'll give you a look at what I did this week in my sales numbers, but also what I did for the entire month of August. It's crazy to think they're already sitting here at the end of the, uh, August. Um, but let's get straight into it. I don't want to muck around today. We've got seven great items, so let's get going. All right, guys, I'm going to kick things off with my first item being a set of skis and albeit a set of Resignal skis. If you guys aren't into your snow sports, Resignal is a really good brand to look out for in general, in anything. But a set of skis, you're always going to, I guess, get top dollar for these ones. Um, I picked this up in an op shop for 50 bucks and I knew it was worth a whole lot more than that. I did the search and I saw it was worth about 350 to 400 on comp searching. Um, so I've listed this one up on Facebook Marketplace for $185, knowing that now is probably not the best time for people to be wanting to look for ski gear, um, but it was still such a quality piece that I, I thought that it might move. Um, it ended up being dropped over that last few weeks. I've had this one since the 2nd of August, so it's been an entire month, um, but I ended up taking an offer for $120. Um, so that ended up profiting me 70 bucks. Um, I don't see too many skis in the op shops, but when I do, if they certainly are brands like Resignal, um, I'll always buy them if they're around that $50 price point. So um, if snow sports aren't your thing, sporting gear isn't your thing, if anything you know out of today, it's that Resignal's a great ski brand and you should always look for it in the op shops at a really low price. Item number two, guys, was again another piece of furniture. I'm still playing the furniture game and it's still paying off for me. So this one I bought for just $15. It needed a little bit of work, so I put a bit of time and effort into it. I sanded down the top and the colour pattern that you can see on it was a result of the sanding and, and the work that I did on that. Um, but I ended up selling it for $110. So I've made $95 profit off just this piece of furniture. And it really comes down to the fact that I only bought it for $15. If it was priced at $85, I probably wouldn't have bought it. But the resale value was certainly there at $15. I struck within, yes, the first 30 minutes on Facebook Marketplace. And uh, I was really happy with just a little bit of work, a bit of a touch up, and this has come through with a great collect. It did take a couple of weeks to sell, but um, that's okay because it was a really good profit at the end of the day. Um, so keep playing with furniture. If you haven't done so already, just try it. Just go out and buy a piece, see how you go. It might be something you'll stick with because it certainly has been for me. The next item that I've got for you guys is a really cool item that I found in an op shop. I knew this one was gonna go quick and pop up on an episode pretty soon. It was a Socceroos World Cup jersey from 2010. Um, so this was a really cool Nike piece, um, cool color pattern to it as well. I almost wanted to just buy it and wear it myself, but um, I've whacked it up onto eBay and I've sold this one in the space of just a few days. Um, the big one with this for me is I, I did do a free postage listing on this one and I'm gonna start to do it a bit more because I think it's generating a little bit more interest. It'd be really cool to know in the comments below what your thoughts are on postage and whether or not you're doing free postage for your listings or if you're obviously charging them to pay for it as well. Um, so I did this for 55 free postage. The postage works out to about $10, so that brings it down to 45. The profit for me works out to about 35. I know the eBay taxes that will come into it, so that's fine. But around the $35 profit mark for a Guernsey, I was really happy with that. And I think anyone out there, even if you're not sport lovers, another good item and another niche area to consider is the sports Guernseys in general. Um, everyone's a fan of someone, um, so as long as you're buying any form of Guernsey, somebody out there is gonna be passionate enough to wanna buy it. And ultimately, passion at the end of the day can generate sales quicker than anything. Um, so buy stuff that people really wanna get their hands on. And this was one that, while I'm not a big soccer fan, I know that there's plenty of people out there that are. So this one went really quick, knew it would, um, $35 profit, item number three, we're moving along pretty well. For item number four, guys, we're gonna dive straight back into the furniture game because it is continuing to produce profit. Now, item number four was a really cool one. It was this five drawer, unique color pattern, uh, chest of drawers. Um, this one was from a lady that had done this personally herself. She'd refurbed it up, painted it in her own coloring, uh, and it looked really cool. It used to be a red, like hardwood pine type cabinet. Um, so she's completely revamped it into that sort of Hampton style look that I've said before, you know, sells really well. And it's certainly something that I look for is that white type look. Um, so it sold, sold pretty quickly on her end within the space of the first hour. Um, I picked this one up for $50. I wanted to get $150 and make $100 on it. 
Um, but it ended up only selling for 100 bucks. So I only doubled my money, made a $50 profit, which is great. Um, it sat for around, I think about a week and a half at, uh, at the house here. Um, there was a lot of interest online. So the, the search volumes were really up for this one. A lot of clicks on it, a lot of saves, uh, but not too much traction from a conversation front. So I knew that I should probably hold the price. And um, in the end, it, I ended up taking an offer at the $100 because I really want to just keep turning things over and getting these items to you as a sold item. So um, look, it did sell for 100 bucks, um, $50 profit, really happy. Um, yeah, furniture, continuing to produce my second furniture piece of the week. The next item I found in an op shop for $6, if you could believe. It was a Billabong V1 full body big wave wetsuit. These things, if you're not aware of what wetsuits are actually worth, are worth stacks. I think this was worth about $550. It was a really good wetsuit and it was just $6 in the op shop. So I grabbed this one straight away and I've thrown it up onto Facebook Marketplace. I listed it up for just the $80 and I knew that it was probably going a bit under on what it was the true value of a resale, but I just wanted to move it quick because I bought it for such a cheap price. Um, it didn't get a heap of traction because obviously the size with wetsuits, they need to make sure they fit really well for each person. And that could be a bit tricky, um, but there was a buyer that was interested. This one was a size medium. Billabong is obviously a great surf brand. Uh, the full body wetsuit for sure is, is the one you want to go with. If you're going to be in a wetty, you're generally going to be in a full suit. Um, and $80 as a sale price within a few days, I made $74 off this one pretty quickly. Um, I'm always now looking for wetsuits as a result. It wasn't something that I had in, in my mind to, to search for when I'm out in the op shops. But if I ever do see a wetsuit, I'm generally picking it up now because wetsuits, even used and, and in older condition, just the material and the make and what they cost on retail, you're always going to get them at a low enough price in an op shop. Um, so I'll always try and get it, clean it. Um, this one I didn't need to. It was just in that good of a nick um, that it could just be simply sold. And the guy that came and picked it up, he, he saw that too. Um, he was wrapped that he was able to get this sort of a suit for just the $80. So he was happy, I was happy. Um, hopefully I'll find a few more wetsuits and make a few more dollars on them because uh, yeah, item number five, that was a really good, really good pickup. There wasn't gonna be an episode of what sold without me putting up a photo of a pair of shoes that I was happy to sell. So these ones were probably my best shoes of the week. I've done quite a number of, of them this week, but uh, the Gel Kayanos, um, the Asics Gel Kayanos, they are the ultimate shoe. I do a lot of running personally myself, uh, a lot of road running, and these shoes stand the test of time. They are the most durable, um, they are the best on the market. So if you do find a pair of Asics Gel Kayanos, they're worth about $260 Aussie. Um, and uh, these were in the op shop for $4. So I knew that I'd struck gold the minute I saw them. Um, I don't see too many Kayanos in the op shops. I see a lot of ASIC shoes and I make a lot of money off ASIC shoes, but the gel Kayanos are like the bee's knees of ASIC's footwear. Um, so I picked these up and, and sold them for $55. Um, I think that's a pretty fair price because I generally do shoes around 30 to 35. Um, but these were 55 because they were obviously the Kayanos um, and, they, and they did move pretty quickly as well because I think on resale you could probably get a few more dollars if you remain patient but you know 55 seemed to be a pretty good mark on eBay off the comp search. So it's profited me $51. I made a $50 note uh, off these within the space of a couple of days off Facebook Marketplace uh, found in the op shop. So it was a really good find. Um, yeah, 55 bucks for a pair of shoes, that's that's awesome. So I'm normally doing them for about 30, so that, that's, that's a great result. And my number seven for you guys was a pair that moved within the very same day. So these were a pair of leopard print Adidas uh, women's shoes. Um, they just had a really cool um, look to them. I knew the minute I saw them on the shelf that somebody else would love them just as much as I did. Um, but they'd be able to fit into them because I certainly wasn't fitting into a women's size six. Um, but look, they did sell uh, within the same day. I paid $5 in the op shop and they sold for $35 on the same day, listing them on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, these ones actually had five messages within the same day, five different girls all wanting to get them. So that leopard print style, that uniqueness that I always look for in anything that I buy, um, I knew they were gonna go pretty quick and they certainly did. So a, a really quick sale there for $30 on a pair of shoes. And as I touched on with the Kayanos, that's what I like to try and sell my shoes for. I just blanket them out at, at $30 to $35 a shoe and I'm picking them up in general for around the $5. So um, yeah, item number seven, another pair of shoes among the many that were sold this week. 
Uh, but they were two of my favorites, the Leopard Prince in the same day and the Keanu. So hopefully those items are giving you a bit of an idea about what sells pretty well out there. And uh, if you do see any pairs of shoes or furniture or sports equipment, definitely jump on it because I'm certainly making a couple of dollars off them for sure. Um, I wanted to get into my numbers as I touched on at the start. I wanted to show you what I did for the week, but then what I also did for the month. So let's have a first look at the moment at what I did for this week. Um, so I did 19 sold items this week and my cost of goods was $184. Um, my total sales for the week ended up being $787. So definitely my best week uh, this month uh, at $787. My profit was $603 in my hand and that worked out to be a profit margin of about 76%. So um, look, really, really happy to get $600 profit at the end of the day. Uh, a lot of the sales were made on Facebook Marketplace, obviously a few sales as well on eBay, so I'll take the fees out of that at the end of the month. Um, but yeah, $600, that's been a pretty good week. And uh, look, it does bring us to the end of August as well, so I just didn't want to, I want to jump up um, and give you a look at the August numbers as well. So for the month of August, I sold 56 items. I had a cost of goods this month of $546. And my total sales worked out to $2,906, which gave me a profit for the month of $2,360 at around an 80% profit margin for the month. So look, I've done the, I've basically been around the $2,000 a month for the last couple of months. And I've just suddenly started to see this month a little spike. It was only a small spike from about 2,000 to almost 2,400. Um, because I have bought a few more items and I think what I'm learning is that it just simply comes down to the amount of items you have and the amount of items you list will ultimately result in the amount of profit you get at the end of the day. If you're buying good quality items, they will sell. So the more quality items you buy, the bigger your profit will be at the end of the day. So my plans moving forward, I really wanna to get to that um, video for you guys at the end of September and show you something in the vicinity of $3,000 in profit. Um, hopefully I'm able to show you those numbers because that's what I'm gonna be aiming towards. And I'm gonna do it by buying more items. I've sold 56 items and I probably ended up buying about 100 items this month. So I sold about 50% of the items that I bought. Um, so I've still got those 50, and I'm gonna try and snowball it. I'm gonna try and buy 150 items next month. That's my goal. And I'm thinking that the number of items that I buy will correlate to the amount of profit that I have. So I'm thinking with 150 purchased items as a goal, that will ultimately get me to where I need to be from a, a revenue perspective. So. The goal for next month is $3,000. I'm happy with 2,360 for August, but if I'm gonna to continue to scale and grow and become a full-time reseller, I'm gonna to need to buy more items. I'm gonna look into wholesale purchasing for the very first time as well. So you'll hopefully start to see some info around my first ever wholesale purchase. Um, but I'm really just trying to scale and grow and I'm, good, I'm happy to see the increase in numbers here. So it's already been an extra 400 for this month compared to what it was last month. So I'm seeing the improvement. Um, but it's just a matter of now of just buying a few more items because I think that's the secret at the end of the day. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video, guys. Hopefully you've got a kick out of it and learned something new. Um, please comment your best sale of the week in the comments below. I always love to hear what you guys are up to and what you're selling because that's ultimately gonna help me as well. I love these what sold videos and I hope you do too. Um, great to have you along for the ride, guys. Feel free to check out the other videos uh, in the channel and subscribe as well if you haven't done so already. I look forward to catching you in the next episode. Bye-bye.